morning. The time now is 644. A local nonprofit is joining a nationwide push to change juvenile justice. We're joined live in our studio this morning by Ms. Gina Womack, the executive director of the Families and Friends of Louisiana's Incarcerated Children. Thank you so much for being here. And first off, let's just talk about what is wrong with the juvenile justice system? Oh, thank you for having mm -hmm. um, me here this morning. Well, um, actually, the juvenile justice system is broken. But today we're here to talk about um, the reason for having this 5K race. And this is in regards to the um, transfer issue. Uh, we find that a lot of times that juveniles are transferred from the juvenile court into the, to the adult system. And so uh, we're here today for to hold our race to bring awareness of um, the plight of children who are actually transferred from the juvenile to the adult system. And this event is today at Audubon Park. It's a, as you said, it's a 5K race. Tell us some of the different organizations that you're teaming up with to change the system. Well, uh, we've been working on um, transfer and transforming the system in Louisiana for quite some time based on the Missouri model, which is a rehabilitative system. But today we are um, joining forces with the Campaign for Youth Justice, which is a national organization organization in Washington and several other organizations around the country that are um, doing the same kind of work that we're doing. Uh, Tracy McClard, a family member from Missouri whose son actually was transferred to this adult system and committed suicide, um, actually um, thought of the idea to memorialize her son mm -hmm. and she's done this um, for three years and it's been her dream to bring it um, event to national uh, focus and so we're teaming up with about eight okay. um, states California Wisconsin um, Missouri and a couple others that I can't remember now you said something a, a minute ago and I don't want to just you know rush past that you right. said the system is broken how yes. is it broken well I mean for a, a, a long time like we've been working to stop the school to prison pipeline so school children are entering into the system from a lot of suspension and expulsions um, the system has been broken in regards to the fact that children were ill-treated but we've been working with the state to rectify that and so we're working on transforming the system from being punitive to being rehabilitative. Okay. And so um, this is another issue that uh, we'd like to bring attention to because the juvenile court was, and the juvenile system was in, um, invented because we know that children are different from adults. Okay. And that if children are enter into the adult system, they're 36 times higher to commit suicide. So we have to do something to change exactly. that. That walk is today. You have a t-shirt that people will get when they... Today. Come on out today and, and register for this walk. Once again, it's the first national campaign for youth, youth justice. 5K run walk today, Audubon Park Shelter, number 10. Pre-registration is at 8 o'clock. The race starts at 9.30. Everyone is invited to come on out, participate, and watch the Saints game. Gina Womack, Executive Director of Friends and Family of Louisiana's Incarcerated Children. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you very much. You're welcome.